Thank you, Honorable Chairman. Yeah, today, I would like to mention the problem faced by some farmers in the northeastern state. I hope you may aware that Areca plantation is one of the biggest occupations of the northeastern state since many years ago. Especially Areca plants are grown in the state of Mizoram and Tripura among the tribal areas in a large quantity so that it is the main occupation for many tribal people in those areas. Unfortunately, Honorable Chairman, I want to inform this August House that the farmers of Mizoram and Tripura could not export their own Arika product to the other states of India during this year. Their fresh Arika production was stopped and seized by some government officials along the highway within the state of Assam following the instruction given by the, by the Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India. This means that the instruction given by the Union government is a great loss for the tribal people living in the Northeast. In the meantime, dry Erika of Southeast Asian products entered India to Myanmar in a bulk quantity. As report received from officials that the Union government is trying to stop the incoming of foreign dry Erika products. Honorable Chairman, I highly appreciate that this foreign Erika production smugglings must be stopped from entering our country. So I kindly request the Union government not to confuse our own Arika product and foreign dry Arika product. It is different thing. Foreign Arika product is in the form of dry, but our own uh, native products in the form, in the form of fresh, fresh one. We cannot confuse them. So there is no reason to stop the sales uh, and sales the native Arika product anywhere within Indian Union, unless we are treating the Northeast India as a foreign country. Let the smuggling of foreign areca be stopped. In the meantime, let the native areca production be free. Thank you so much, sir.